Hey family, I am on today to quickly just like talk about the African collection braid out um, crochet here I have in today. If you are new to my channel, I get on, I talk about anything that's going to be beautify you in this area, eyelashes, eyebrows, glasses, bags under your eyes. Um, what should you do if you want your lips to be lighter? Um, things like that. So you get on. I get on, I get off. I try to get on and tell you the beginning, the middle, and the end, which you will not find anywhere. Talk about the whole process. So today I want to talk about this hair quickly. It is the African Collection Braid Out. I did um, three, two videos already um, talking about week one, week two, and now I'm on week three using this hair on my head. So I want to show you what it looks like when you first open it up. It's very like detailed it looks like I like the pattern of the curls and then this is what it starts to look like over time this is three weeks and um, in a couple of days still looks good right but let's look at the roots you see how the roots grew out look at all of that space some people like it like that if you like it like that go for it two thumbs up it still looks nice and neat um, and I, as I always say anytime hair starts to look older to me it starts to look more natural because it's not as shiny and then it has kind of like that rough look almost like you put water on it or you did something to your hair um which um if your hair kind of just like curls up or does this thing when you braid it or wet it it looks more natural but i want to come on today to show you how you would fill this in so i'm literally not going to do my whole head i'm just going to do this section right here to show you like all of that is my hair but i'm going to use this hair um to show you how to fill it in to make it look like you did your hair over again. So here's the hair. I literally just break off a little piece. I don't break out off a lot. Um, other thing I like about this hair, and I said it before, that it is easy to, um, very easy to um, pull apart. You have some here that you struggle, this hair, it's very easy to pull apart, so I just do the double loop, um, and I'm going to do it again. Break off some more here, and I always just take it, put my finger right in the middle of it, and then um, pull my fingers and pull it through just to get the hair that um, probably would shed and come off anyway. So I just put the loop in. This is for all those who don't know how to crochet. Put the loop in all the way that even the hook is all the way in this little hook you want to make sure it goes through so you don't hurt yourself place the hair on the hook close the hook pull it through and grab it on the other side and yeah go for it put it in twist your hair again put it in so you're putting it inside and then you just pull so I'm gonna keep doing that I really just want to show you how great it looks after you have um, after you have filled it in and you see how you could see the loops so now I'm gonna do it where you see you can see the loops right there which is okay um, when you're first starting off but then as you get closer to your hair and to the front you want it to look more natural so I just still do the first loop but then I take this piece of hair and I split it so my fingers are still in the loop and then this fingers out of the loop and I do like that and it becomes more of like a clear knot you see that well this one's not that clear you gotta make sure you pull it good see that alright so I'm gonna keep doing that just want to give you all this little trick so you can stay beautiful during this crazy, challenging time in our lives. Um, but all those who are new to my channel, subscribe, leave a comment, ask questions. You will not regret it. I try to get on and get off. I try to stay on max five minutes. That's usually my goal because um, I know people are busy and if you're busy like me and you got other things on your plate and you have so many goals this is not the only thing you're doing you're not only just beautifying yourself but you're you got events to be at 
ministries to preach at, right? You have so much. You got kids. If you're married, too much. Too much to be on all day. And sometimes you just want to get your information and get on and get off. So see how that's working? It's looking more natural. It's thin. And I'm going over my five minutes. I apologize, but I want you to see the outcome if I was to do my whole head. I'm not doing my whole head, but I'm doing this, this lane right here. Um, this area right here and I do want to complete it because I do want you to see get a, a idea let's get an idea of what your whole head would look like and so this is my last piece and I'm gonna put it right here because you do want your hair oh, I don't like where I put it okay gonna put it right here you do want your hair to um show a little bit especially if it matches your the color matches your hair because that's what gives it that natural look too um so let's see and then i will cover the area i didn't do so you can get a feel of it so here we go and there you go looks like i did my hair all over again this is all this is the area i did area i didn't do area i did look how neat and fresh that looks so if you do your whole head that way people will think you did your hair again even though you didn't you could even tell like i did this area and i didn't do this all right but all right ladies and all those who are showing up today who are watching thank you welcome be a part of the family subscribe um and enjoy this video peace be healthy